brought these images tonight to share with everyone to fulfill the intentions of the paintings. And the intentions behind them were to create spiritual vortexes or healing images that transform the viewer. We're, we're walking through a labyrinth with no light and that's kind of the way it is. We're just kind of feeling our way through and it is a labyrinth. There's so many different corridors and passageways that we can take that can take us either to one point or to another. And as I said, the intention of these paintings is to help each viewer to use it as a vehicle to travel to greater depths of love within themselves um, or to travel to different places um, in our journey, in our healing process. And really that's what all this is. We're here to grow and learn and heal ourselves um, into, into deeper levels of love. And that is the intention behind these paintings. And if you focus on them when you're meditating or when you're chanting, they can, and I have also experienced them as very powerful vehicles to enhance the meditation. Yeah. Where? This painting bridges Aboriginal, Hindu, and Native American traditions. <clears throat> the center triangle is, is the center of the crown chakra as described in the Kashmiri and Hindu texts, as well as the Buddhist texts. <clears throat> the circle was inspired by Aboriginal medicine people. And traditionally, the medicine people in Australia, those were the only ones who would paint, and they would paint their visions. And as a guide and as an inspiration, the rainbow serpent would come to them and give them visions. And during the creation of this painting, I had a visit from the rainbow serpent in a dream as well. And the rainbow serpent literally is a rainbow. He has every color of the rainbow. <clears throat> and that's what the circle is representing, all the colors of the rainbow serpent. And they're painted in the style of an aboriginal painter. And so I'm combining the Aboriginal medicine people, the, the mystics from the East, and the outer pattern is a very simple Anasazi pattern. Well, I feel fortunate to be able to bring these images to everyone. And they're not meant, it is a new class of painting because it's not meant for just one household. They're meant for everyone. And so, um, Sharing them fulfills the intention behind bringing them into, into existence. This painting, or any of these paintings, any of these images can raise the resonant vibrations of wherever they hang. It's just like having prayer flags or uh, statues of deities that you may um, be particularly, uh, have an affinity for. Um, these paintings have a life of their own and they have vibrations of their own. And uh, it's really a blessing for me to be able to share them with everyone. So I hope everyone enjoys them and I hope they add to your understanding and your experience. Okay.